Hello everybody and welcome back to Space Engineers, where today we are going to be looking at the Warhead. Now this, in Space Engineers, is a very very powerful block, but has a lot of misconception around it. Lots of people think it does different things than it actually does, in a sense of they think it can be used in certain ways where it can't and vice versa. So I'm going to put some things clear. I'm also going to show off some things that the warhead can do. Kaboom. Yes, Rico. Kaboom. So without further ado, let's get straight on to the video. All right. So we're going to start nice and simple. Um, I flipping love that. We are going to start off with just exploding the actual warheads themselves. Yeah. Nice and simple. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to arm a warhead. Uh, we're going to set the count. I guess we'll start the countdown. And we'll just see what the small little warhead does. Boom. Aw, oh, look at it. Little, little dent. Little bicky dent. Interesting. Um, and then we're going to do it with the big warhead. And there's a little baby. And there's a big baby. So just, this is our base test, right? So this is just testing warheads exploding with both of the same, just with a battery underneath them, yeah? Now that is a bit of a bigger hole, as you can tell, compared to the small one. Now, what I, one thing I want to do is I want to test how does covering them in blocks change? So we're going to do a light... So we have a test. We have our light Energy armor. Low. We have our uh, heavy armor. And we have a mixture of heavy armor and blast door. To see if the whole size will change in the slightest. So let's get straight on to that, eh? A warhead only explodes out of each face of itself, right? So, like, it'll explode out of the top, bottom, front, back, uh, left side and right side. It doesn't explode out of the diagonal sides. And that's why you get this husk left over. As you can tell, uh, the size of the hole does not change in the slightest. For large grid or small grid. Uh, that is because uh, it's just a standard explosion size. It doesn't, um, how the game works out, it doesn't do it based on if a block, if, if, it doesn't work in a sense of when the warhead explodes, uh, it has a, like an explosive mass projectile which goes out and if it gets hit by large grid, it, you know, slows down. That's not how it works. It literally just works that if a warhead explodes, it will do this size of damage. It will, it will d damage blocks in a certain area size. And for those who are interested to know, a size, I believe, is about uh, 19 blocks across. Also, this is not in the center in the slightest of this hole. Uh, about there. So yeah, about, about 19 blocks across if you do uh, right in the center. So yeah, like, that is really not the center. There we go. See? It's actually technically 18, but yeah. I'd say 19. 19 blocks and you'll be uh, fairly safe. All right, so what should we test next? Uh, let's test another interesting thing that a load of people have said. If you stack up warheads, they will make a bigger hole. Now, do you think that's a thing that happens or not? Well, I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? Now, if you have any other ideas of things I can do with blast or uh, you know, warheads, that was a big explosion, or... I can do with um, other blocks in the game that you may find interesting to test out. Uh, leave a message in the video description. Oh, a video comment section. 
I will uh I always read them so yeah if you come up if you have a good idea of something I should test uh yeah give me a message and I will think about doing it now as you can see so this is a standard size hole yep fairly fairly small and this is the size of the new one as you can see it is bigger and that is because yes stacking uh, block, uh, the warheads does slightly increase the area a warhead uh, damages which is uh, good to know you know so we'll be this will be a good test for doing here boom 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 This is one. Go right across. Right. And that is pretty much right across. So as you remember, this one is 18 blocks, you know, eight, uh, 18 slash 19 blocks. This one over here is 25. So that's 24 ish. So that's the size of one warhead going off and that's the size of two warheads going off. So it's, it's like chilling a little bit bigger and the main reason that it's actually a bigger hole is actually just because uh, the warheads instead of being right in the center of the block they're actually like one out so technically this warhead that would be placed here would actually be further on the edge so it doesn't really make that much difference i wouldn't recommend you do that if you're going to blow up something up just back individual ones uh you'll have a bigger area <clears throat> all right so another thing uh, people seem to be very, very unsure about is if you shoot a warhead when it is armed or when it is unarmed or when it's unarmed or when it's armed, uh, it will explode. So some people think that only an armed warhead will explode and some people think that if you shoot an unarmed warhead, it will also explode. Let's just uh, get this question out of the way right <clears throat> all right so on the left we have unarmed warhead and on the right we have an armed warhead i can prove this to you so right here this arm um, warhead is not armed timer doesn't make a difference i could say it's a one it's not going to make a difference on this side the warhead is armed you can also tell the difference because an armed warhead has a yellow circle on it it's got a circle on each side uh, and a unarmed warhead is green. Hmm? Okay. So if I shoot this one, one, two, three, four, five. No. Uh huh. You can see. Look how much he's doing, yeah. It's actually almost destroyed not going to explode because it's unarmed on the other hand it explodes when it's armed so that is with a battery underneath it when you actually uh give it power uh you may, i may have someone asking hey but quantum what happens if you uh, don't have a warhead powered ah oh, well we can test this as well can't we look this is an unarmed warhead again it is green and on this side the warhead is armed and it is yellow yep right there see it cool can shoot this one all day long again not gonna make a difference not gonna make a difference in the slightest because it is not armed never it will get the block will actually get destroyed before this thing explodes You. 
There you go. It exploded, but it didn't do any damage because it got destroyed instead. On this hand, doesn't need power. Warheads do not need power to detonate. That's another thing people have been always saying that warheads, you need to have a battery for it to explode. You do not need a battery for a warhead to explode. Ah. <sighs> well, that's out of the way. Now, let's test what happens when uh, you... So, right. This is actually going on from the last test we did, where we surrounded it in blocks. This time, I want to just show you how far in each one damages blocks. Because it is slightly different between them. I know this, this video is great, isn't it? It involves so many explosions. So we're going to go bomb. We're going to go bomb. We're not going to look. We're going to go bomb. And what do you think has happened? So we have the, we have a light grid one, we have a heavy armor, and we have a blast door. Ta-da! They do actually make a difference. No energy. Thank you. I like my energy. So you can see here, the warhead exploded and made like a little damaged circle, but it doesn't have the power to destroy all the blocks. On this one, it's very erratic. It destroyed... So this is where the warhead was. So you can see the first it punched in was right in the center of that block. Same with the left and slightly to the right. But then it also has like a couple of holes because it's damaged like all of this. All, all of this armor is actually not damaged. It's just crinkled. Okay. But it's we've got a couple of blocks missing. I believe. Yeah. You can see we have a... We do have a couple of blocks that uh, have been destroyed out. And it is very similar to the blast door. <clears throat> and that is because, as I've been told in the uh, description quite a few times now, blast doors have pretty much the, the exact same amount of health as heavy armor. The one exception blast doors do is they do not crumple. So as you can see here, when the uh, blocks get destroyed, it has all this like crumple damage. These ones, they just show exactly how much damage has actually happened. This is very good if you use a lot of pistons or um, rotors, anything like that, that uh, where blocks pass over blocks. That means if you get damage, uh, it could stick up and cause something to get stuck. Something like a blast door, never gonna happen. Um, and yeah, that is uh, pretty much the whole test. Uh, an interesting thing you can see here is these blocks uh, are still undamaged closest. That is because... Um, I'll do it on here as well. So if I get a ring of heavy armor like this... Uh, you know what? Let, let's, let's do it like this. Right. So if I get... Light armor block surrounded by two layers of heavy armor, like this, like this, cool, and I put a warhead on here, and I arm this warhead, and I shoot the warhead. What do you think will happen here? Do you think the uh, explosion will have like a ring of undamaged, or do you think it will just do the exact same kind of impact as there is here. Well, let's find out. So I'm gonna remove this. As you can see, Fuel it critical. does defend it. But it defends it in an interesting way. And I can explain to you kind of how this happened. So you can see the, all these blocks around it are pretty much undamaged. But we have damage here. We have damage here. We would have damage all on these other faces as well. But of course, I don't have a block set to show you. But I can I can tell you the reason for this. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the same thing we had uh, at other test. All right. So we have two identical slabs. Uh, the black bit is light armor and the top is a heavy armor slab. So in this case up here, 
what I did was I placed a light armor block in the center, surrounded it by uh, some heavies and had some gaps and you can see we made some uh, holes. I did the reverse of this this time, so this whole slab here is heavy armor, we have a one block gap around and we have another band of heavy armor and we have uh, just a solid mass of heavy armor. So what will, is going to happen is it's going to explode directly down like it's always done. On this way, it's going to, on this uh, one, what do you think is going to happen? My prediction is it will explode directly down, but it will also damage these blocks and the blocks underneath the uh, heavy armor will be fairly undamaged. Let's test. So, you can see here, it destroyed the heavy armor, but pretty much did no damage to the rest of it. Uh, one thing I would want, I do want to say is, uh, it will still make a hole underneath. Like I said, these, it doesn't stop the voxels from getting destroyed, no matter how big or how thick you make the armor. As you can see here, it hasn't damaged this light armor, but it will still destroy the voxels. So just bear that in mind. See, on this one, we got some uh, holes around here, but the whole light armor is undamaged. And surprisingly, actually, on here, it is also undamaged. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I wonder then, if I, if I fix this uh, back up, right? If I fix this back up and I add this right here and I place the warhead like this and I destroy the blocks here so literally just one block all the way around them like this now what do you think is going to happen? Fly back a bit and boom. As you can see, it has destroyed these blocks underneath here because they're exposed. They're exposed by the uh, light armor. Interesting enough here, this didn't. So on this one, it only just it destroyed the top blocks. On this one, it did. Interesting. I wonder how, uh, so if I, if I place all these blocks back, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep them as blue for now. Because I'm gonna place the warhead in the exact same place. All the parameters will be exact same. What do you think is gonna happen? Do you think it will destroy the exact same blocks or do you think it will be a bit random? I can tell you, it will be slightly random. And that is because warheads aren't, uh, exactly the same. Looks like it just did destroy all the uh, blocks that we had before. Um, yeah, we've got one more cool. It's not so much an experiment, just a cool fact about uh, blast doors. So I've got a hole here, and if I place a load of blocks, as long as they're outside this circle area, I can place just a load. Place a lot of little blocks. Lots of blocks. Ba, ba, ba. Like so. If I place some uh, heavy armor blocks in. Large blocks. The cool thing about warheads is they actually have a. Um, Shockwave. That's the word. There you go. They, they actually, yeah, they create a bit of a shockwave which uh, moves blocks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, of course, shoot this one and just show you that yeah, it actually happens. Isn't that pretty cool? 
So what you could technically do, as long as it's outside this area, because if you have any blocks in this area, they'll just get destroyed. Small grid will get destroyed by a large grid like this. But what you can technically do is surround... You, you can make a sort of firework-ish. A laggy firework, but a sort of firework. Which would involve having a warhead placed here, having it raised up by blocks, and then having a load of small blocks on it, exploding it, and it'll go flying up in the air. More like a confetti cannon, I guess, than a firework. But that's the sort of idea. But yeah, now that you know what I know about warheads, uh, what would you want to make with warheads? Leave a message in the video description. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, I'm going to go back to my cool little uh, tent thing there, mate. If you enjoyed this video, consider hitting the uh, like button and subscribing to the channel if you're new. Because, like I say, I'm still a small channel and uh, your support means so much to me. It shows that you uh, enjoy the things I do and you in no want empty. to see me do more of it in the future. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. My name has been Quantum Chief and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Wee.